Oh, Tesla, thank you so much. Hi guys, it's uh, Friday morning and it's a recap of uh, my short session today, just 30 minutes into the trading session. Now take a look at the S&P, we crashed down yesterday and now we're starting slightly up. Take a look at the Nasdaq, we crashed even stronger than the Nasdaq and now we're leaving a topping tail. Now when the market's coming down so strong like it did yesterday, you do not expect it to move higher. You expect a pullback and you expect it to fail. That's why I'm also expecting space to fail and I'm about to short it if it comes down under $39. Now notice the fact that space is down 7%. Short now 8,000 shares. I, my, my stop first of all you need to understand uh, if I did spot the highs at the right point then my risk reward is great because now I have a relatively short stop loss right over the highs or even a little bit before that and I just shorted 8,000 shares expecting to have a bigger than a one-to-one -one risk reward which is my usual normal risk reward. Now why do I think space is going to fail? First the stock is down 8%. You do not expect a stock that is out 8% uh, to go all the way up and close the gap. You just don't expect that. There will be some people who are bottom fishing, there will be some people who are averaging down their losses, but most likely the sellers will win. And the reason is quite simple. There's more sellers than buyers in, uh, in space today. It started down more than 8%. Now, you can also take a look at Tesla and I'll show you the daily later and I believe Tesla is going to continue coming down that's why I'm about to short it right here 4,000 shares and uh, Tesla definitely has a clear downtrend well space started down but Tesla started up today but as you can see it's very very clearly uh, coming down it's trending lower and we'll also go ahead and take a look at uh, the daily of Tesla later now take a look at uh, space right over here because I'm about to add another 4,000 shares because at that point now it's proving to me that it's about to continue even lower so you see it just failed to move higher I, I have to admit I was a little bit worried about that so I'm about uh, now that it's proving to me that it wants to continue coming down assuming it's going to come down under this uh, very uh, small support over here right here I'm going to add another 4,000 shares adding now so I'm short 12,000 shares at that point it kind of proved to me that it wants to continue coming down now take a look at uh, Tesla again take a look at uh, space take a look at both of them at that point I'm seeing some indications at the S&P 500 and in the Nasdaq. In fact, it started the Nasdaq that the market is likely to come down. So I'm, I'm still riding them. And again, fast forward so we don't have just to wait for uh, the whole duration of uh, the trade. Now take a look at space. I'm getting ready to take my partial. I'm going to take an 11,000 uh, shares partial. I'm already up $12,000. First sign of a pullback. And I'm about to click that button. I do see a small green candle took my partial. Now notice the risk reward which is um, approximately a 1 to 2 or 1 to 3. I'm not sure. Anyway, that was a great trade. Now I'm looking at Tesla. Tesla in fact did reach my target. I'm up $12,000, $13,000. So I was looking for a three point trade and I, in fact at that point I had it. Now at that point I noticed that the Nasdaq is just touching under the lows. And that means that the topping tail that we've seen here earlier actually was the reversal point. Now take a look at the S&P. The S&P is what counts, the Nasdaq doesn't. But if the Nasdaq just touched under the lows, the Nasdaq could be the crystal ball to what is about to happen to the S&P. So I'm still holding to Tesla, although I should have taken my partial here. But I'm looking at Tesla, I'm looking at uh, the S&P 500, I'm looking at the Nasdaq and I'm saying, well, Tesla first did not close the gap yet. You can see that the gap will only be closed right over here. So I could possibly hang on a little bit more. Now it just closed the gap right now and it looks to me like it's a bit extended. So at that point, once it closed the gap, I'm getting ready to take my partial because usually when the, the point of closing the gap is a partial in the point where it may uh, change direction so I'm about to click the button clicking now 3800 uh, shares and I just had the best uh, <laughs> trade of my day I also have a trade in VST I'm short 8000 shares and I'm about to take my partial 
right here because it's pulling up a little bit. I'm only up $2,500. It's not a big mover. It was a very classic gap and go. Started with a big gap down. Stock is down 19% right now at that point. So I'm looking for the first sign of pullback. And again, that's a first forward. So you just don't have to wait for the whole duration of this trade. So you can just see here a small green candle. Took my partial right here. It's a very, very small uh, trade. And here's the Tesla's daily. As you can see, Tesla is trending low recently. That's why I thought that it's likely to continue the downtrend today. Not only the intraday downtrend, but the daily downtrend. And here's the result. Just 30 minutes into the trading session, guys. Just 30 minutes, $47,000. Now, please don't understand that uh, trading is easy. Trading isn't easy. The fact that I kind of knew that uh, space is likely to come down Okay, so it started with a big gap down. You expect a gap and go, but where would be the point where you move in? The timing, it's all about the timing. And that's the experience. And that takes years. So as you can see, I'm still riding it. It's still coming down and uh, Tesla also coming down nicely. But the fact that you know that uh, a stock like space is likely to come down or Tesla's daily uh, shows you that it's going to continue the downtrend. That doesn't uh, make you a successful trader. Being a successful trader is also about having a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge and a lot of understanding of what's going to happen uh, each and every point of the day. So I'm not always right, but I am right 68% of the time. And I want to wish you um, a perfect weekend. So just enjoy your weekend. And if you do want to trade with us, uh, there's plenty of links right here below. Free links which you can use. And uh, if you like this video, how about a thumb up? We will really appreciate that. It helps our channel, help more people like you uh, join us and learn about uh, day trading. And you can also subscribe. The button is right here. And click the notification bell all if you want to be notified of my future upload. Uh, thanks you. Thank you very much for watching this and I'll see you all next week.